Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ohio State's taking care of business in the early part of the season. Now comes the tough part, maintaining the focus that it takes if you want to control your own destiny for the national championship. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. is on the field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started gross from the six tries to get around the corner brought down at the 47 yard line ohio state's offense really centered around this quarterback and as he goes the team seems to go kirk right over the weeks i've been watching him on film and one thing i've seen is his ability to make good decisions i mean time after time he just avoids the mistakes and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense you're going to move the football down the field From the 47 yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. White gets about four yards on the play. Third down. Again with the run. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. Nice run there. That's good for a That makes it second and six. in the open field and he will score and he tacks on the extra point let's get the latest now from Reese Davis Let's take a look at some action from Waco. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. West Virginia with the lead, 3-0. In another game, in the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. And for Texas State, they won two straight. The Bobcats win it, 28-7. All right, thanks, Reese. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. Taylor fields it at the 2. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 35. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Wrestle them down in the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Right. 
from their own 45-yard line. Second down. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. No Steps up. Harris was the intended target on the play. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Hogan awaits the snap. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Ohio State is up seven. Throw in left. The defender had it and then dropped it. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. And he can't hang on to the ball. The defense was ready to come back on the field, but now they get to rest a little bit longer. They're set to go for another round. down around the 41 yard line maybe after a nice run like that you try to go up in the air for the play action pass gets it he's in space and they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And now he's got room to run. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. The 10 throws quickly back to the tight end. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Ohio State up seven points. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Woods on the tackle at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. He gets hit out of bounds around the one yard line. It's second and goal. About a yard to Pater. Hands it off. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update.
Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. Let's take a look at this one again. And for West Virginia, here's a team that's been ice cold. And for Barnes, he scored a touchdown. The Mountaineers have the edge 10-7 early in the third quarter. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Bellamy has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. And he's taken down at the 25. Ohio State's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant the first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He might have a chance. He's tackled at about the 35. At about the 37 yard line. Man left, man left. That brings up second and nine. Mike five, Mike five. Tackle made at the 49. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Caught open field. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 17. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 17 yard line. Second down. Holmes gets a carry left side. The five. Touchdown, Ohio. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 74-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 14-7. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Ohio State is up a score. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's hit and taken down. So at the end of one quarter, the Buckeyes lead 14-7. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He makes it to the 35-yard line. the corner he's at midfield he's pushed out of bounds at the 26 yard line first down two times two times
nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle around the nine-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second to goal. And he's level at the 10. They'll be looking for the end zone here. Third and goal from the nine. Ohio State is up by a touchdown. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. They lose three yards there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Ohio State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a team of six on the That'll make it second and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Incomplete. Holmes was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it From their own 40 yard line. It's second down. Quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 44 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Three-yard line. Stop at about the 19-yard line. 
It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Big play, and it's first and goal. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at it. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Touchdown, Bobcats. his second touchdown of the day. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for West Virginia, they're trying to change their luck. West Virginia with the lead, 13-10. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Beck has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. The 50. Inside the 30. The 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown! When a guy like this gets into the open field, it's pretty much game over if you're trying to catch him. You kind of had that feeling he was going to do something big today, and that's exactly what he did right there. And he hits the PAT. Get set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. He's tackled in the open field. the 42. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 36. He sails it long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Person intended to see the play. play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. That makes it third and three. Tackled at 
tackle made at the 17 yard line. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. The score, 24-17, Buckeye. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Lost three on the way. That brings up second and 13. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 25. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's going left. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Matthews is back to receive. Matthews fields it at the 35, looking for the corner. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. That was a huge special teams play. So we're just about ready to return to action. Ohio State is up seven. And he's taken down right around the 34. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Terry was intended to receive it on the way. Third down. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. The Bobcats running back. He was injured early. We see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Going right to his tailback. And he hits him hard at the 23. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mark 38, Mark 38, Mark 38. Here's a run. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings them second and five. From the 18-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 16. Game of two yards. That makes it 33. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the play. First down. Touchdown, Buckeyes! He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, what is happening in Waco? This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Bears' defense is feeling it after the pick six. The Bears lead 20 to 13. In another game, the Tigers entered today's game ranked 10th and believing they weren't ranked high enough. And for UAB, they've now dropped three in a row. The Tigers take it by three. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. The Buckeyes running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up and trying to get back in the ball game. He'll return it from the three. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. They try the right side. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Tackled after decent pickup. Defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Tackles around the 33-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's at the 30. To the 20, to the 10, and they tackle him at the three. That makes it first and goal.
He's taken down around the one yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it third and goal. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That brings us fourth and goal. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. And for Baylor, they remain undefeated. Baylor wins it 27-13. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. This offense really ran the ball well as they finished off their last drive with a touchdown. Across the middle, he's got his halfback. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop at about the 49. First down. So with one quarter remaining, Ohio State leads it 31-20. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. I think his quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Well, he had his hands on the ball, but once the hit arrived, there was no way he was going to maintain possession. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Here comes the pressure. This one's going deep to the end zone. No, incomplete. It's up, looks long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ohio State's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed in to what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. 
Lowe picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And he's tackled at the 45. Makes it out to about the 36. That brings in second and nine. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37. Loss of one yard on the play. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. Nice run up the middle. As he came down with it. I mean, he takes him down behind the line at the 30 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Just under three to go in regulation. Quickly incomplete. Inland was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. When the first down marker is that far away, Someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. And down he goes at the 36. That's a deep 12 on the play. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He has some room. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. White gets six yards on the carry. Ohio will have one timeout remaining. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it to the 34. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball in the 29. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. They'll drop in for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up.
He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. In a game that had to be a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare, it's over. 34-20, Ohio State. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>